Some security, Priscilla. This is quite unacceptable. Nearly as unacceptable as life in Treeville without tasting what I am about to reveal to you here today. Stirred in fire, molded in ice from the rich belly of Pepperpot Valley and imaginated by a dog named Banjo, I present to you the famous dragon fire rainbow bubble popsicle dragon bubble what a mess looks more like a banky awful messy puddle <gasps> they must have melted you must believe me, they were the most glorious popsicles filled with sweet fire and bubbly magic. Popsicles? Please, save your fantasies for the damselfish banky. Clean this mess up and get it out of my shop. I've got to find a way to get Banjo's popsicles to Treeville. <laughs> Banjo! 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 <gasps> Banky, I have customers. What, what is it? You don't see me busy. Banjo, my dog. Forest blessings. Superstar. We need to get these heavenly popsicles to the heavenly canopies of Treeville. They will absolutely love them. We will be rich. You will thank me later. Treeville, Banky. I don't you see the Riverside crew lining up all the way down the river to buy my dragon fire rainbow bubbles popsicles? Yes, and about that name, for the Treeville customers, I think we should... I don't care about the flyers and climbers in Treeville, Banky. I have my paws full right here with my bubble dragon uh, fire. Yes, but what if I told you I could get you Priscilla's prized papaya pie from the Treeville harvest? Huh? Huh? You can get that? But they say Priscilla makes only one a year at harvest time. Of course I can. Psh, silly puppy. Priscilla the parrot is a personal friend of mine. But how will we get it to Treeville without melting? Presto! Oh, the ducks you mean? See, that is the problem with Pepper Pot Cricket. We need more ducks on the team. The monkeys can't play spin. Wait, Banjo? Duty calls, fellas. I go on. Presto? Nice. We need to get these to Treeville before they melt. Treeville? That is up tongue. Hey, that fire, you know. And it high too. Definitely not cheap. It may require some... Trivial? Let's go. Watch speed. All right, people. We reach Priscilla's Fruit Bar. Good. Banjo, this is a very different part of the valley. Fancy schmancy personalities. 
Best you let me do the talking. <laughs> Citizens of Triopolis, behold! Thank you. Do not take another step. Behold your business outside my shop. But Princess Priscilla, hold on. I present to you Riverside's finest dessert chef, renowned all through the valley, Sir Banjo de Dog, to share with you his dragon, fire, rainbow bubble popsicles. Uh, never mind the name. Where is my papaya pie, huh? <gasps> oh my, not the bubble pie. What? Did you say your papaya pie? No, Banjo. The popsicles. The popsicles, Banjo. The pleasure is all mine, Priscilla. I will treasure and enjoy your papaya pie as if given to me by the guardians of the forest. And we will send the duck with 10 bucks of my dragon rainbow, wait, sorry, dragon fire rainbow bubble popsicles first thing next week. You know, Banjo, about that name, perhaps you could change it to something, you know, shorter, something more concise, something that people could say, something that will make people say, hey, I want that, as opposed to I want that. You should try that. You should think about it, Banjo. Hi, kids. It's me, Preston. In this episode, Banky's story about sharing the experience of Banjo's Dragon Fire Rainbow Bubble Popsicles with folks way up in Treville is very similar to how the makers of products from many CARICOM countries transport their goods around the Caribbean so that people all over the region can enjoy them. Much like Pepper Pot Valley, the Caribbean community is a region filled with different types of scenery, people, cultures, foods, and businesses. Even though CARICOM is made up of many different nations, sharing and experiencing all these wonderful opportunities are what makes CARICOM special. 